What's good, YouTube? MB, and I'm back with another wave video. Yes, yes, yes. This is my wave slash reaction channel. Every Wednesday, I drop an informative wave video. Look, look at me, informative wave video, and we do a wave related reaction. Fridays, we drop the, you know, what I'm saying bullshit, whatever, you know, what I'm saying kickback, chill out reactions. But today. I have a very special treat for y'all, man. If y'all see my video last week, y'all know today is the day that I just got a fresh cut. Yes, sir. Look at my first video. This is what used to be my weak side. This side is not as weak as it was anymore. We're going to come over here to the back side for y'all don't, don't know what my, you know what I'm saying, what my full head looks like. Here you go. This is the strongest side. But you know what I'm saying now that we got got that out the way, let's hop into the video, man. Let's get it. Now in this week's video, I will be walking y'all through what to do before and after a fresh cut. So make sure y'all listen up, listen closely, and listen carefully so y'all can get the full knowledge. So let's say you get a fresh cut on Wednesday. You always want to do a wash and style. This is mandatory. You always want to do a wash and style at least two days before you get your fresh cut so you can have everything clean. Your barber not mad at you. He is able to get in and do whatever he needs to do to get you right up out the door. You know what I'm saying? And how you looking right for the, whoever you trying to impress. So, like I said, you want to do a wash and style at least two days before you get this fresh cut. Now, after you do this wash and style, Flash forward to Monday, because that would be two days before the Wednesday that you get your fresh cut. Now, flash forward to Monday, you just do your washing style. Your hair is dry. Now, it's very, very important. Before you get a fresh cut, you do not want to be doing any coming back of the hair. You don't want to be doing any coming back of the hair between the washing style and the fresh cut. You don't want to, I'm going to say this one more time, you don't want to be doing any coming back. After your hair dry up, after you do a washing style, you grab a comb and comb with the grain to, 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 to lift the hairs up off the scalp. You immediately come in with a hard brush and fix the progress, fix any problems that you may have occurred during your washing style. Throw the rag on, go to sleep, wake up, and boom, now we is on Tuesday. Now the day after your washing style, but the day before your fresh cut, you basically want to do the same thing. Get a comb, get a hard brush, brush everything out. Make sure you're getting down to the scalp so after your barber cuts your wolf off, he is getting a fresh layer of work. It, you know what I'm saying? If you understand what I'm saying. So, and the third most important thing is you don't want to put any products in the time between that washing style and a fresh cut. Do not put any products in your hair because your barber will not fuck with you after that. That nigga probably might fuck you up, do some shit to the back of your head that you just don't know about. So, you know, don't put any products. Your hair is clean. You just cleaned it for a reason. Don't put no products in your hair because barbers hate cutting through greasy ass hair. Now, flash forward to Wednesday. You just got a fresh cut. You looking clean. Before you go out to the mall and flex, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit the crib and... Get a soft brush at least and brush the rest of your hair down because you just coming off a wolf. You just got a fresh cut. You still got the guard, um, guard, uh, you know, guard shits in your hair. You know what I'm saying? Your hair is really not fully laid. So make sure you come at least do a soft brush session. Nothing too crazy like a two minute soft brush session. Lay everything down. Let's say if your barber is not, not a waver, you come through and put some work in on that crown because nine times out of ten, he didn't fuck your crown up, but he don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, the real intricacies of how to cut your crown. So that's really tip number one. Tip number two, after you get the fresh cut, is not to immediately wash your hair. This that's destroying the purpose of your whole crispy line. And like it now, now if you're not going nowhere, you know what I'm saying, feel free to wash your hair. But if you trying to stay crispy, stay clean. I know it's the holidays coming up, Christmas is in a couple days. You want to stay crispy, stay clean. Do not wash your hair immediately after you get a fresh cut. If you don't trust your barber's clippers to be clean, then don't go to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Stop going to that nigga. Um, something to minimize even 
that even further is try to get a haircut on a Wednesday when it's not too many people in a barber shop. Your barber is really not that booked up, you know what I'm saying? You probably might be the first cut of the day, so you get that extra reassurance that not too many heads was in front of you and his clippers is clean. Don't immediately wash your hair after a fresh cut. That's destroying the lining, destroying the fade, everything, man. If you don't trust your barber clippers to be clean, stop going to that nigga. And tip number three, after you get a fresh cut, yes, you are free to put whatever products you like to put in your hair to make your shit shine, make your, you know what I'm saying, make your waves shine. Any butters, any parmaids, any oils, feel free to now put that in your hair. Because a couple days ago, you just did a wash and style. Your hair is clean. Like my hair right now, this is literally hours after I get a fresh cut. I have nothing in my hair. I swear to God on my mama, nigga, I have nothing in my hair. Um, and yeah, that's really what to do before and after you get a fresh cut. I'm gonna just break it down and do a washing style at least two days before the fresh cut. Don't comb back the hair after that washing style before the fresh cut, and don't put any grease in your hair before the fresh cut after the washing style. Now, after you get a fresh cut. If you want to go out, make sure you do a little short breast session, get the crown looking right, whatever. So you can get the guard lines out of your head. Number two, don't immediately wash your hair after a fresh cut that's defeating the purpose. Your lining will not look as crispy. And number three, now after you got your fresh cut, you are free to put whatever oils, whatever pomades, whatever products that you want to put in your hair after this fresh cut, you are free to use, man. Take my tips, run to the hills. I'm not telling y'all nothing that I do. I'm just giving you the real. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you hit that sub button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. New wavy tip videos. New wavy tip videos dropping every week. Claim your OG ticket today. We is on a road to 1K. Make sure you leave a like, man. Look at me. I'm spinning. NB, I'm out this bitch.